What we have here is an HP Pavilion P6130Y. It was built in 2009. It's really old, it's really dirty, and I want to repurpose this box since I got it as a gift. So first thing we have to do is take off the lid. Only one screw, loosen that. Pull the side cover off. Get that out of the way and you are ready to start cleaning your box. There are tabs on this unit. You lift these tabs up and this face just comes right off. Yes, you see it just, just hinges out. So that's out of the way. Then to get the hard drive cage out of this unit, there are two screws here that I took out. You press the lever here and you push this way and the cage slides loose. You disconnect the drive. It's just a pinch and pull. So now the drive is out of the, the drive is still in the cage, but the cage is out of the computer. So now I can clean out better. I disconnected another cable going to the CD-ROM and on this unit uh, they have these little position switches whether the CD-ROM slides further in or out but for our case we just want to put it in the center position and when you do that it allows the unit to slide right out. The next thing we're going to do is take out the power supply. I'm going to disassemble that so I can actually get into the inside of it and clean that out thoroughly. I'm going to show you how to take one of these babies out and see that it's not that difficult to do. When you look inside at the end of the power unit there is a tab here. I'm going to push that tab out and I think it's the only one on this HP and this unit should slide out that way. So let's see if that really works. I press down. Let's try it with a screwdriver so that my big fat thumb is out of the way. And indeed The power supply is coming out. Now your power supply is plugged into the motherboard and the drives and you can just pull those off because those are just connections. But now in looking at this box, hold on I'll be right back. What I've done is I've disconnected the power cords to the drives, the CD-ROM, the motherboard and this is also going to the motherboard. Now we have the power supply. So if we look at the back, at the front of it, because this is the back, this is where the air is blowing out, uh, we see there's really nothing here to open up. This looks like it might leverage out. And so I'm seeing screws on the sides, top, side. And I think that might give me access. I don't see a need to take these off because that's just holding the fan. This holds the, uh, the power plug and the, the selection switch whether you're running a 115 or 220. But I think these screws might let me in. So I'm going to pop those and uh, I'll let you know where we stand. Okay, so we've taken out seven of these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I found one on this side, seven. This seems, well, look at that. This seems to take the cover right off. So let's look inside. And we can see this is a cheap power supply. So it's got cooling fins and you can see that there's dirt in there that needs to be cleaned out. 
capacitors. Capacitors look fine. There's crud in between those. It doesn't allow them to cool off. If you get all the dust off of this, that blocks the heat from coming off and being blown out by the unit. Uh, this will run more efficiently and you'll add to the life of your old box. So now, except for the motherboard, the exhaust fan, uh, it, it's gutted out, right? So I'm going to take all this to the air compressor and just blow out all the individual elements. Do you have to disassemble the whole thing to do this? No, you could go in there with an air compressor, but I'm just being really particular. I want this really cleaned out so that I know it's dust free and it's running as cool as possible for the applications that I'm going to use it for. Everything has been clean either with a compressor or wiping down with uh, just a soft wet towel. And be careful if you're using the air compressor that you don't blow on the fans because they're not designed to go that high of a rate. So you could damage your fans. It's time to reassemble. So let's uh, start with the DVD player, which should just slide in. I'm trying to do this one handed. Next thing I'm going to drop in is the uh, hard drive cage and that should drop down and slide in. You heard that click? And then it takes, I don't know why, two screws. So I'm going to put these two in and we'll be right back. The screws are in, so that's ready to go. I did discover something. It is the number two position for the DVD that gets it far enough back so that the cover can go on. So let's let's see how we're going to put that on. If you notice on the cover, there are these catches, right? There are three of them. So there are three catches. One, two, and three. So we just insert those in there. And it should snap into place. And it did just that. So we're all set there. And then uh, we'll hook up the wiring, which is really easy. This only goes in one place here. And it just clips in. And then there's one that clips in for the hard drive. And so that'll be on... I can see down there, that side. There's, there's only one way to get this in, so you can't mess it up. Because you see, there's long, and there's a short, and this just goes right into that short, and it clips, and it clips in. So you can't mess that up. So now what we have to do is reassemble our, our clean power supply back into its cage. And just FYI, like many things on a PC, they only go in one way. So you see, if you line up the lid with these notches, then it'll go in correctly because it won't line up correctly if you turn it around. So, again, easy thing to reinstall. So I'm now going to put in the screws and we'll be right back. Here is our power supply all reassembled. We have four screws remaining. Those are the ones that are going to attach to the back holding on the power supply. So let's uh, see if we can slide this puppy back in. So it's going to be with the harness side up, and then we're going to put it in to the case, and you see that tab here? There's another one on the other side. They should line up with the power supply. So it's lined up here, it's lined up there, and then Here's that tab, that locking tab. So now watch, I'm gonna move this forward, and there it is. So now it's locked in, it's not gonna move. It's still loose, obviously, because we haven't screwed it in. So now we'll turn this around. We just simply put in our screws. 
just needs to be tight enough so it doesn't vibrate. Okay, so that's in. And now we, all we have to do is give power to certain things. All right, so this one attaches to the motherboard. And it only goes in one way. And there it goes. That's attached. Then this one attaches right down there. And again, it's a one-way connection. All right, so now we got the two connections to the motherboard. And what remains are powering the hard drive. And if you can see down in there, there's the SATA connection. So this goes right next to it, like that. And then at the end of this cable, there's another connection, and that's going to go to the DVD. Okay, so that's in. Then we come down here to the bottom, to the hard drive, and it just goes into its hole. Okay, it's in. We have it there. And then the rest of these are just spare connectors in case you decide to add another uh, device here. And before we can slap the lid on it, we have to make sure that it works. We're plugged in. It is getting power. We push the on button. We see the fans firing up. And then we come over to our monitor. And voila, we have the screen for Windows Vista. And of course, we're not done until we've reattached the side panel. You'll notice at the bottom of the side panel, there's this little lip. That's going to catch on the bottom rail of the case. And then, on the back, there's a little tab sticking out that goes through a hole. And of course, we have to line up the hole in the case where the screw is going to go. So we close the case, the lid, I'm sorry, push it in, push it in, and now the screw is being driven through. And we see that our tab is aligned. And hand tighten that, don't need to go further than that. And we visually inspect the seams, they all line up. So your box is almost as good as new, except it's eight years old. Thank you for watching.